What's going on guys and welcome back to another episode of the FIFA 17 career mode. This is episode number 108 and today I have three big games for you in a full live episode against Inter Milan in the Champions League round of 16 second leg, Borussia Mönchengladbach at home in the Bundesliga and also Hamburg at home in the Bundesliga as well as we aim to progress to the Champions League quarterfinals and also stay top of the table in the Bundesliga. So three big games today, going to dive straight into them as well, not spend about half an hour nattering on about the weather or whatever I normally do. Going straight to the first game of today's episode, it is against Inter Milan in the Champions League quarterfinal, second leg, where we lead 2-0 from the first leg at the San Siro. So can we get through to the quarterfinals? I think so. I certainly hope so. Come on, Borussia Dortmund. Volland wins it back again. That's why I like Kev so much. And what a ball as well by Volland to release Emre Moore running through one-on-one. -on -one. And Handanovic prevents Inter from going behind early. What a ball from Kevin. Volland wins it back, splits the defense. But Emre Moore couldn't apply the finishing touch. Still nil-nil. And Handanovic keeps Inter in the tie. And here's Benega skipping around with Staffy and Hernandez. Oh no, what's happened there? Lucas Hernandez has headed the ball past Michael Muller. I mean, why Benega's claiming it like he scored the best goal of all time? I don't know. But Lucas Hernandez has just headed the ball past Michael Muller and into the back of the net and put into Milan back in this tie. I've rested quite a lot of players. Hernandez normally does well in the Champions League. Well, that is a moment of madness. Dortmund nil, Inter 1, and how quickly things can change. We could have been one goal up. Instead, Inter lead. They half deficit on aggregate, and it's 1-0 to the Italians. Well, that is utter, utter, utter madness. But here's Dembele on the ball, feeding inside towards Diego. And Menendez says, Lucas Hernandez, don't worry about it, bruv. I'll bail you out. Dortmund won, into Milan won, doing his best Paul Pogba impression and firing us back on level terms pretty much instantly. What a wild start to the game. Dembele cuts down the right, rolls it inside. Menendez smashes the ball in at the near post. Handanovic gets his angles wrong. And it's 1-1. Thank God we've got Diego. Weigel on the ball for Dortmund, through towards Pereira, down the right-hand side with the Berber spin, trying to find some space here to cross or shoot, but he'll go for the cross instead, and that's not a bad delivery, two towards Kevin Voile, and Raphael heads it up in the air, and Moore goes for goal, and what a spectacular goal that would have been. Good tackle by Pereira, who tries to win it back, not once but twice, and he does really well there, Pereira, he's been great all game long, he deserves a goal for his troubles, and he could have got one too, Santon blocks it, he'll drop to Pulisic, who goes for the acrobatic, way, way, way off target. And there is the full-time whistle, Borussia Dortmund 1 into 1, not the win we would have wanted, but it's the result we need to get through to the quarterfinals, we go one step further than last year, and avoid embarrassment at home. And for Inter Milan, they were trading by two on aggregate going into the game. And they didn't record a single shot, but still managed to score a goal because of that embarrassing Lucas Hernandez own goal. EA, sort your game out. So one result is achieved. Now we've got two more games to come and we need wins in these games, I'm sure, if we are to stay top of the table. The first of our final two Bundesliga games is against Borussia Mönchengladbach at home. Can we get another big three points here against an underperforming side? Let's hope so. Come on, Borussia Dortmund. So first league game of the episode, can we get the big three points here? Let's hope so, with Werner on the ball finding Pogba and a chance straight away here as he rolls it inside towards Menendez. Menendez back heels towards Aubameyang and we should have gone one goal up directly from kickoff. Nice little build up but Aubameyang couldn't apply the finishing touch. I rarely ever say that as his header then goes off target from the corner. Still nil-nil and that should have been one nil. Bele with the roulette, tries to turn his man Nico Schultz, and he does, through to gap towards Aubameyang too, and he'll surely need some help here, back towards Dembele, space to shoot, and why not, great save though by Sippel, already his second of the game, great start from him, but 10 minutes into the game, good start from us, but still goalless. Good chance here for Mucci and Gladbach to go in front against a runner play, and Michael Muller makes a good stop. Timo Werner with the fake shot, trying to go down this left-hand side and use his pace to full effect here as Ducare comes across and wins it back. We sort of slowed down a little bit since our great start to the game, but now on the queue, Werner finds Diego, goes for goal, and once again, it's another fine save by the Munchen Gladbach, number 21. He has stopped so many shots in this first half as that header goes behind for another corner. It is still nil-nil, and if it wasn't for that man in orange, we'd surely be in front. He's had a great first half. 
My goodness, man. Seriously, there have been so many chances in this first half. We are still deadlocked. Corner by Menendez. Pogba's header. No, Tarsori heads it in. And Jonathan Tarr gives us the lead five minutes before half time. And my word, did we need that. Because the longer the game was going on, we kept on getting chances. But I was wondering whether we'd ever find a back of net. But this time we do. And it's an uncharacteristic error from the goalkeeper as well, who had a great first half. We don't mind, though. The former Leverkusen centre half keeps us in top of the table ahead of Leverkusen 1-0 Dortmund great way to end the first half Davis with a great tackle and a great chance here on the break the Hoover on the ball the fake shot trying to turn his man and chip it down the left towards Menendez not once but twice second time succeeds Menendez great ball across towards Aubameyang who tries to get around his man with the fake shot and he does and hits the bar and it's cleared by Mucci and Gladbach and if we don't win this game we will only have ourselves to blame so many shots so many attempts but still it's only 1-0 Long ball by Michael Muller looking for Aubameyang and he flicks it back towards Gutza and gives us a chance here. Excellent hold up work there from Aubameyang as Gutza storms down the right, cuts inside, cross the far post where Menendez is getting in as is Aubameyang who capitalises on the fail clearance and surely wraps the points up with five minutes to go. It's a scrappy goal but we'll take it because we're staying top of the table. And there it is, full time score, Borussia Dortmund 2, Borussia Mönchengladbach 0, we stay top of the table table and extend our undefeated run in the Bundesliga a big three points here and a big victory and a much deserved one too the far superior side Munchen Gladbach didn't really offer much and we deserved the three points and man the match to the guy that helped us keep a clean sheet and scored the first goal as well Jonathan Tile with his second of the year set us on the way a good performance as he continues to keep us in front of his former team and as we go into the third and final game of today's episode once again a team has done us a favor by beating Bayer Leverkusen we are now five points clear with 10 games to go and a win in this game and results going our way could send us eight points clear at the top of the table what a turn around this would be considering what position we were in just a month ago so a big big game for us here at home at Hamburg can we get another big three points here let's hope so let's extend that winning run Werner on the ball looks for Diego through the gap towards Aubameyang running through and finds the back of the net as well no chances inside the first 18 minutes until now and Aubameyang hits his second goal in two games and fires us into an early lead Diego with the assist and Aubameyang puts us in front Neat little build up here, Werner across towards Diego, one touch and a great little through ball towards Aubameyang, who as ever is clinical as you like, finds the back of the net, 1-0 Dortmund, he's now in front of the golden boot race. Yes, Pogba wins it back in the air, well done now, Menendez towards the Hoover and a chance here, as I'll poke it through the gap towards Aubameyang, referee let's play advantage here, because Aubameyang's inside the area, he's got men asking for it, one is Diego Menendez, I'll try and back in it to him, and Menendez is denied by a great save by the goalkeeper, what a fantastic assist that would have been. Chance for Hamburg to get back on their terms here. Gaston Ramirez is through and drags the shot wide the post. Wow, the former Borough midfielder who we know all about almost punished me for missing a couple of chances in the first half. Still 1-0 though and a big let off there. Corner to Dortmund, our sixth of the game. Diego takes it and looks for Aubameyang at the near post. And instead, Pogba takes the header off of Aubameyang's forehead, it seemed. And the goalkeeper makes the save. It is still just 1-0 to Dortmund as we try and wrap these points up. One late chance for Hamburg in stoppage time. They've got to get a ball forward quickly here. Douglas Santos on the ball. Keeps on moving. Plays it through the gap. Davis loses out here against Lewis Holtby. And still Holtby on the ball. Great ball inside. Ruiz goes for goal. Muller makes the save. But the rebound is turned in by Lissandro Lopez. And with 10 seconds on the clock, my former career mode side are going to prevent us from claiming a big three points. Good save initially by Muller. But the rebound converted by Lissandro Lopez. And Hamburg get the goal. And, well, to be honest, I say this quite a lot. But if you don't take your chances, you'll get punished. That's exactly what's happened. Dortmund won. Hamburg won. And the game finishes at the signal of Duna Park. With both sides claiming a point each. And we've dropped two big ones here at home. It seems like late goals happen quite frequently in this year's FIFA, but the game does finish 1-1, and Hamburg deserved the point as well. They played well, no doubt about it, had a couple of great chances in the second half, and deserved to get a point. And man, the match will go to the guy that we gave the captain's armband to back in my Hamburg career mode. Lewis Holtby, who played very well for Hamburg, kept the spirits alive for the away side, and in the end, was part of the build-up that got them that equalising goal, which they deserved.
But as you can see, straight after the game, once again, Bayer Leverkusen have slipped up big time and have lost to Stuttgart away from home. So despite during that game, which wasn't a great result for us, no doubt about it, we stay top of the table and extend the gap at the top of the table to six points as well. A big missed opportunity to not go eight points clear, but in the end, that draw is not as bad as it possibly could have been. And thank God Leverkusen are finally starting to slip up this season. But that will end today's episode of the Fuel 17 career mode, guys. So a big thank you for watching. I really hope you have enjoyed it. If you have enjoyed today's episode of career mode, then please leave a like, as likes are, of course, very much appreciated, and they really help the channel grow as well. Much love to you all. Hope you guys have a great week, and I'll see you for the next episode of the FIFA 17 career mode very soon.